I get discounts for all public services, even at museums, and the library is free for me, thanks to my school. A good school brings benefits, but people with low scores lose rights. The cinema names and shames people considered untrustworthy, plastering their details, even their addresses, across big screens. It's a matter of principle. Those people have to be condemned. Those people aren't honest, so they have to pay the price. It's only right to pay your debts. You have to blacklist those that don't. The Supreme Court has created a blacklist for so-called bad citizens, those whose ratings have dropped to zero. On it are companies, but also 23 million people to date. Among them is this journalist Liu Hu. He got a little too close to uncovering corruption among high-profile party members. After being sued for defamation by the subject of a story he'd written, he was blacklisted. He only realized when he tried to buy a train ticket and was told he was banned from traveling. That tells me I'm still on the blacklist. Punished because he's been branded untrustworthy by the state. Mm. Once you're blacklisted, you can no longer get a bank loan, start a business, buy an apartment. This is Psalm chapter 58 verse 3 and it reads, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go stray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach you well, well, among many other things. And peace of salutations to the elect that scatter abroad for winds of earth out there in the highways of hedges and pushes truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, so, <clears throat> yeah, you saw that video, all right, and um, as you can see, man, the the path, the road that we're heading to, okay, and this is Esau, all right, doing what he does best, all under the banner of safety, peace, right, we care for you, your safety, Taking away more and more of your rights while at the same time making you a um a potential terrorist. Because as you can see, you know, an average person, okay, is being filmed multiple times throughout the day. Okay. And why would such a person be like that? Unless this man, okay, got a God, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, God complex. You know, his mindset is he thinks he's like the most high. Okay, so he wants to observe and watch everything and control everything by movement, thoughts, actions. And go... Unbelievable. You know, Satan at his best. Doing childish things. Right? And <clears throat> I'm going to read this verse again, man. It says here, Psalms 58, verse 3, and it says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. Right? And the wicked is talking about Esau, Edom, the so called white people. Right? Going back into Genesis chapter 25. Right? It reads, uh, Genesis, I think it was chapter. 25 verse 25 if I'm not mistaken no that's that's the main part now this says right here Genesis chapter 25 verse 23 just get right to the point I'm not trying to make this video long just you know and it reads and the Lord Yahweh said unto her two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people should separate them separate from thy bowels and the one people shall be stronger than the other and the elder shall serve the younger right so as one people shall be stronger than the other and we know mentally physically and spiritually we are stronger than the so-called negroes latinos and native americans which are the true biblical hebrew israelites you know to the israelite foreigners that look at these other nations that we are a stronger people man right 
Now go into the elect. Okay? It takes a strong man to be honest, to hold integrity. It's ta it takes a strong man to be upright in a world of, of, of wickedness. It, it takes a strong man to be honest, man, with himself. Okay? It takes a strong man to continue to endure. Okay? And be upright before the Lord. Esau is everything but that. Esau, Edom, the so-called white people, are weak, weak people, weak-minded, physically weak, spiritually weak. Right? They don't even have a spirit. And they have the spirit of Satan, which we're going to get into. Right? Because, as it says here, going back to Psalms 53, so 58, so like, uh, Psalms 58, verse 3, and it reads, The wicked are estranged from the womb, right? They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies, right? Because Esau, Edom, the, qu the first quickest thing he does is lie because he thinks that's the easiest way to get himself out of trouble. That's the easiest way for him to gain control, Okay? And that's what he's been doing through all these nations, man. Lying to everybody. Because he is the wicked, weak-minded devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Okay? And now, as you can see, under the banner of safety, right? You can see what he's doing, which I'm going to play a video also after this. You can check it out. It's, it's very important. This shows you where we're going. Because these smart cities is not all set up, okay? Your smart device is not all set up for your advantages or for your benefit. It is for your disadvantage because ain't nobody nowadays can remember phone numbers. Back in the day, we remembered phone numbers. If you was, you know, from the older generation, you know, I'm an I'm a 80s baby. Right? You you remember phone numbers, man. Right? You remember your house number. You remember your friend's number. Right? You remember your girlfriend's number. You know? But nowadays, the devices that you use, you see the majority of people, back in the day, we had to learn our, our way around, you know? You know, if, if, if you get lost, I mean, shit, you really had to get a map or something. Right or a call or, or ask for directions, so that that means that you have to use your head, you have to think, right? So somebody give you directions, you will write it down, you know, or you will memorize it, and if you forget it, you go to a pay phone and you will make a phone call to get further instructions, letting that person know where you're at and what you're gonna do, where what you need to do. Okay, I've been in those situations, right? So. And that makes you think. It makes you smarter. So then, when you experience something, you rem you will re you remember, you know, the experience that you have have dealt with. But nowadays, people when they when they be driving around, you know, it's easy. You GPS. You just put on some uh, fucking uh, uh, GPS to guide you where you need to go. You know, and people use it for e absolutely everything. Not not realizing that. That smart device that you're using is making you stupid. Dumbing you down, man. Okay? And these smart cities that are being set up soon, they're not there to help you benefit. Just like those two first videos that you saw, check out the third one, man. It's going into gradualism. Okay? Because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he causes a problem. Right? And he comes with a solution. That's what he does. Okay? Right? And going into the wicked. Who are the wicked? Let's, let's pull that out really quick. Who is that? The wicked that be estranged from the womb. Right? Who is that? 
This is Malachi chapter 1 verse 4 and it reads, Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. So clearly here it shows you that who the wicked are. Okay? Precepts upon precepts, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Okay, through thy precepts do I get understanding. Okay, this is showing you the wicked, as soon as they be born, they speak lies, man. Lies, right? Physician of no value. Okay. This is Psalms 144, verse 8, and it reads, Whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. Okay, so... The right hand, which is supposed to be your strong arm, their strength is in what? Lies, vanity, making you think one thing while they're setting you up for the okie doke. Okay? This is what this is what this devil has been perfecting himself in on gaining control, complete control over the people. As soon you're gonna have cities, right? Get going into the MOTB. Okay, he's gonna bring bring problems. He's already doing that. You got the the there's this there's I'm gonna make a video about that as well. Going to HA, going to Colorado, uh, Colorado, or, uh, Aurora, Colorado. Okay, because what there's a Venezuela problem, right? So you can see that the Lord said, as He has written, there's early racial tensions, as in uh, Matthew chapter twenty four. Nation shall rise against nation, you know. These uh, racial rights, which is on the, on the uprising, is coming to the forefront, man. Okay. Esau's doing this by bringing, these, bringing in people from out of jails, okay, setting up insurgents, okay, malicious men that he has set up and paid for to go and cause problems. In, in America, and wherever he wants them to go, cause a problem. That's 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 the perfect thing that he does. Okay, he is the master of disaster. That's why everything everything that you see going on right now is on a down downfall, a decline. Right, society uh, is, is 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 plummeting, man. The morale of the people are are gone. Right, your structure, your house is. Pretty much depleted. You don't have the the man to to raise the children, to to guide a family. Okay, but a but a, an emotional female that's just running around as a fucking wrecking ball, causing all kinds of problems. Okay, and 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 raising up fucking delinquents, man. Degenerate fucking bastards. Running around having no respect for the elders, nothing because these women don't know how to raise boys into men. Okay, so everything is systematically set up for Esau to cause problems and bring a solution. Okay, that's what he does. He's the master of disaster, man. Okay, and his right hand is a hand of what falsehood, lies. Okay, because he was, you know, going back into the Roman Empire, right? And going back into Revelation chapter 20, starting in verse 1, it says here, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. Right? And that's the Lord. And he laid hand, Aslaka, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent. Right? Which is the devil and Satan. So what is this talking about? All right? Now this might fly over your head, but going back to Genesis, that old serpent. All right? Because that, that was a nation of people. More subtile than any beast upon the, the fields. Meaning these people were more dis cunning, deceiving than any other nation, man. Okay? So Esau... You know, in a reincarnation is that old serpent. 
right? That dragon, okay? Which is the devil. We're going what? Into the word devil. It's not some demon with the with the horns and a red suit with a pitchfork. No, this is talking about a people upon this earth, okay? That are slanderers, liars, deceivers. Okay, that's what they're good at, you know. And if you go into the lowest form, you got very, you got, you got these slanders out here, you know, uh, calling your landlord, talking bad about you when you haven't even done anything wrong. Right? This is what these devils do. That's why the Bible calls the so-called white man the damn devil. But the biggest one of them all is who? These Amalekites, right? The Dupons, the Gettys, the Rothschilds. The Gettys, the Bilderbergs, Rockefeller, right? These so-called elites that are ruling the earth right now are the biggest devils upon the earth, right? Because if you go into Revelations chapter uh, chapter 2, verse 10, it says that devil shall cast some of you into prison. Now, who 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 is going to put people in a jail here soon over the name of and the gospel of our heavenly father, Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai. Who's going to do that? Who's going to do that? You saw Edom. Okay. And that, that, main, that main devil is not talking about your average Edomite that's walking or riding their bike down the street, Susan and Tom. They're fucking clueless. They're two-time losers. They have to pay taxes in their own fucking kingdom. Okay? And their right privilege is not working anymore. Two-time losers, man. They don't have a clue. No, we're talking about the so-called elites. They're the ones that are going to be casting the men of the Lord into prison here very soon. Right? Because we're almost in the time of persecution. Right? But that stage is being set right now. Going into the system... That I'm talking about just briefly concerning these videos that you see. Okay. And China is one of the main examples, you know, keeping your eye on. Because they already have that systematically set up going into the cameras, right? And that's why um, I also put that video of uh, America and also UK. Other places, how they film people, you know, with this... Um, um, what do you call that again? Um, the same thing, the same system that they use in, in, in China. And in China, if if you're deemed uh, uh, bad, you you get you get cut off. And this is this is a testing ground for the MOTB. Okay, now this video that you're about to see, okay, it's going to talk about how. You have a city limit that you are to live in. And with your with your bank account, you are not allowed soon. Soon, you're not going to be allowed to go out of a certain part of your, your area where you're living to buy things. It will not work anywhere else but the area that you live in. This is the system that they are already have set up and they're going to use on the people. Okay, that was that was uh, uh, that's what they're talking about. This global reset, that's what they're talking about with the fourth industrial revolution. Okay, you will own nothing. You will be happy. Meaning, they're going to take everything from you. Okay, and they're going to give you points and rewards. Okay, concerning your actions, and that's exactly what they're doing in China. Okay. Now, going back to this, I want to make a point really quick, you know. Uh, Revelation chapter 20, verse 2, And laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him up a thousand years, right? And cast him into a bottomless pit, and shut him, shut him up, set a seal upon him, that he should not deceive the nations no more. You see, because before he was already doing that, right? But then... He was sealed up for a thousand years, as it says here, till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. 
So Esau Edom was shut up into the Caucasus Mountains in Georgia, Russia for a thousand years. And that is historically there. When the west part of Rome fell, okay, up until the 13, 1400s, it was equivalent to a thousand years, okay, biblically showing you that this prophecy came to pass, okay. That's why so-called white people call themselves Caucasian to, to this day, which the word Caucasian meaning cave dwellers, right. And what does Obadiah talk about? Him that uh, uh, dwelleth in the clefts of the rock. You see? Going back to Mount Petra and Mount Seir, that is the original land that he came from. And you can't see the building structures that they have over there? Going back to the Greek Empire, going into the Roman Empire, going into what? Even till today. Look at, look at uh, Washington, D.C., the White House. All right? History will show you. You just got to look in the right places and the scriptures will guide you. All right? So he was set up for, what, a thousand years to be sealed. But when he was let loose, he was let loose for a short season. Now that he's being revealed for who he is, okay, this is what he's been doing so far. This is Revelation chapter 20, verse 7. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. And that's that, that Satan. It's not talking about the spiritual angel Satan that is out up there dealing with the Most High on the left hand side. This is talking about a physical Satan that is upon his earth that deceived the nations, right? Because the word in the Hebrew, Shatan, meaning adversary. And who's adversary against the Most High? These so-called white people that say that a man can can love another man, a man a man can have sex with animals. It's okay, you know. It's okay for them to be with little boys too. This is the society that we're going towards, and that a man can be a woman and a woman can be a man. That is clearly showing you that they're against the Most High, man. And these Christians, when they come to when it comes to scriptures, oh, that was a long time ago. The Heavenly Father is the same today, and He has never changed. This is Malachi. I'll show you Malachi, chapter three, I believe, verse six. Let me see. Right, this is Malachi chapter chapter three, verse six, and it reads, "For I am the Lord Yahweh." Right, this is the Heavenly Father saying, "I change not." The Heavenly Father has never changed, nor get, has He gave men license to sin. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, right? And well, we're very thankful for that, man, because if not, this, this whole earth will be in a lot of trouble, man. Because there would, there would be no flesh to, that would stand in the sight of the Heavenly Father, man. None. If it wasn't for our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right. Who stands for his people, all right? The children of Israel. Now going back to Revelation chapter 20, verse 7, and it reads, And when a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, meaning that he came back into power. Going back into Renaissance. Renaissance is a French word meaning rebirth, meaning they came back into power. That's what they're talking about when it comes to rebirth, them coming back into power. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, and gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. So he was let out for a short season again to deceive the nations. And this is exactly what he's been doing, man. Right? Soon, you're going to see this devil come into power, man. And you're going to see him, right? Because this, this is how he is. Hold on just a moment. It's like a... This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 11. And it reads, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he held two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. That's talking about Esau, Edom, right? Them coming into power. Okay? They want to act like, the, they're pretty much the children of, of, you know, of the Most High, that they're innocent, that they're harmless. But he spake as a dragon. Now, going back into uh, Draco, 
okay, which was a ruler that gave verbal decrees with harsh consequences, okay, that he put people to death, okay, in a way that, you know, compelled people to be very afraid of this man and to listen. Well, guess what? That shit is about to come back again and has already been happening. For example, over here in the Netherlands, we had a um, we had a curfew, you know, when the, the C-19 came about. We had a curfew and we had to bring around papers and stuff. And if you did not listen, people got in trouble. You got fined around 490 euros, damn near 500 euros. All right. If you were caught out past curfew. OK. And, um, you know, gave out decrees, which is actually against the the rights of the people here. But guess what? People are afraid of those stupid laws. And guess what? That was them doing that to subject their power to see what kind of reactions will happen. Okay? It was a testing field. Well, guess what? Soon they're going to bring out and you're going to see who they really are, man. Okay, you're really going to see who they are. They're going to show you their true colors, man, here very soon, man. And Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he's a pure fucking devil, a pure demon, right? Because here soon, he's even going to murder his own people, as he's already been doing already. All right, which we personally don't give a fuck about, man. Who we care about? Okay, is it the, the children of Israel, but starting with the elect, man, and those that truly care and believe in Yahweh Bashem Shai and sincerity, man. That's who we care for. And that's why we make these lessons, man. All right, to get you to realize, hey, man, this devil is going to come in very sly and cunning, right, to the point where, you know, he's going to trap up a lot of people. Okay, a lot of people are going to fold here very soon, okay, under this devil, to accept, okay, the MOTB, but it's only going to be to their downfall, man. All right, because you're about to see some shit happening, man. Okay, because he's about to come out with some unrighteous laws, as it says here in Isaiah chapter 10, which has already been doing already, but, you know, more, more so than ever. This is Isaiah chapter 10, verse uh, 1, and it reads, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decree, decrees, and that right grievance which they have prescribed. Okay. They're, they're, un, they're already setting up laws and legislations behind closed doors, even at the time of Obama, that certain things happen, you, you lose all your rights. And it's already there, written in, in, in ink. Okay. So when people want to actually stand up, which you're going to see here very soon, civil unrest leading, leading to civil uh, a civil war, man. You're about to see these kind of things happening, man. But this is what this devil is really good with, okay? Being deceiving, cunning, making up unrighteous decrees under the banner of safety, okay? Under the banner of, you know, bringing peace, okay? This is, the, this is what they do. And they're going to do more and more of this to take away your rights. And it goes into all into gradualism. This is Micah. Chapter 2, verse 1, and it reads, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their bets. Okay? When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. You see? So woe unto them that devise iniquity, right? That write these unrighteous decrees, right? Behind closed doors. Okay? And they practice it and they use it. Okay? Because what? It is, they, they have the power. The Heavenly Father is given the earth into the hands of the wicked. They have that power and they're using it, but they're being very sly. They're, they're being very subtle about it. And that's what people don't really understand, man. This is Job chapter nine, verse 24. And it reads, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You see, you see, and we're dealing with the people. As soon as they be born, they speak lies. Okay, soon as hey, soon as they uh, what, they are estranged from the womb. Soon as they be born, they speak in lies, man. Right? This is this is the kind of people that we are dealing with. These people are not upright. 
Okay, they are profane, meaning outside of the temple. They don't believe in the scriptures, man. And when it comes to the ways of the Heavenly Father, they come up with excuses, okay, to act like it's okay to commit adultery, to commit unrighteous acts, abominable acts before the Lord and say it's okay. Right? Because as it says here in Psalms, uh, chapter 50, what is it, 16? Let me see, yeah. It says, uh, Psalms chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, the Most High saith, What hast thou to do, to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? And this is exactly what these so-called white people, people have done, man. They'll try to come in the name of the Lord, right? They want to come with all these things. But when it comes down to bring uh, bring a judgment, they throw the Bible behind them and they bring out their penal codes. Right? Because it says here, seeing thou hatest instructions and castest my words behind thee. You see? That's how these devils are. They believe in their own justice. They don't believe in the in the in the uh, the judgments that are written in the scriptures. Because in the in the scriptures it talks about if 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 two men lie together. As a woman, they should be put to death. Do they do that? No. Nope. They're actually with it. They're down with it. Why? Because they're contrary to the scriptures, man. They don't believe in the scriptures. Okay? They say, yeah, I'm a Christian. That don't mean shit. Because the true Christians were actually Israelites. That when they were called uh, Christians in Antioch. And that's the only time they were called Christians because the word Christian means anointed ones. Those that have been anointed by the Lord. But it was a, it was in a, per, per, uh, per, um, what is it? Um, I'm trying to say the word, but it slipped my mind. Um, it wasn't in a good way. It wasn't a, it was in a way of sarcastic saying, yeah, there goes the, the holy ones, right? Like they're so they're so better than us. Yeah, you better watch out. They're the holy ones. That's what they were that's how they were saying it to them in those days. Right? The prophets. Those that believed, man. That's what they were saying to them. Nothing it was nothing nice. But then they say, Oh yeah, I'm a Christian. How are you? You are not anointed, because if you were anointed, you would follow the ways of the Heavenly Father to the best of your ability. Okay, but that's how these so-called white people are, and I'm not saying every so-called white person, okay, is the wicked, okay, because you have some so-called white people that that are actually Israelites as well. Why? Because their forefathers go back to Israel. Because the man's seed determines the race of people who you are. Because a man has an X and a Y chromosome. The woman only has an XX chromosome. So you have you have so-called Negroes that get with white women and their children come out looking mixed and their children get with another white woman and their children come out looking more white. I got nephews that look like straight up white kids, man. You, you wouldn't even know that they were Jakes. All right, but, but they come from my father. My father was dark, very dark skinned. Very brown, a beautiful brown, man. Okay. But you, but you don't get it, you know. A lot of people, they go into their emotions and it, you just don't get it. That's okay because it's not given to you. It's not meant for you. But this shows you that the wicked, okay, they're not with the Heavenly Father at all, man. They hate instruction. They don't go by the ways of the Heavenly Father. They go by their own ways. And that's how you know they are the wicked, man. This is how you know that they are not right. Okay. They set up unrighteous decrees. Because when it comes to judgment, they throw the Bible behind them and they bring out their unrighteous decrees. And guess what? Soon, they're going to have unrighteous decrees to where you're not able to buy anything outside of the zone that you're living. This is what they're bringing to the world, man. They're talking about 2030. This is what they're talking about. And we're, we're what? In the year 2000, about to be year 2025. 
Yeah, I hope we don't even make it that far. I hope the next year, man, it's, it's over with, but yeah. All right, so hey, you know, check out this video I'm about to play. Showing you that how these devils really are. But let me see if I can if I can grab another one. Uh, something popped in my head. Yeah, this is Psalms chapter 64. Uh, I'm going to start right here. Verse 5, it says, They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune a lying snare privily. You see? This is what they're doing. Right? They're setting up a whole system. Right? Getting you fooled to think that it's for your security and that uh, life would be much more safer if we had this kind of security up. But it's actually take away your rights, man. Because if you say anything or if you're not down with the system, your money is gone. You do not exist. You cannot live. You cannot work. You cannot, act, you cannot access even in your own uh, place that you're going to live. This is the world that we're coming into. These are the snares that Esau has set up. They say, who shall see them? Right? Because just like it says in Micah chapter 2, you know, in their bedchambers, you know, they're doing this in behind closed doors. They sit there in Davos, in Switzerland, Davos, one of the highest places in the world, okay, with these G summits, okay, in secret, because public, public is not allowed to be there, setting up these unrighteous decrees, man. And they say, who can see us? Who knows what we're doing? Well, the Most High knows what, what you're doing. And he has revealed his secrets onto his servants of prophets, man. That's why your ass is being exposed, man, and made bare. Right? Verse 6, they search out iniquities, you see? And the iniquities is sin upon sin. They accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep, you see? Because this is not something that has just been thought about five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years. We're talking about hundreds of years ago. We can go all the way back to the Greek Empire. Let's bring it out real quick, and I'm going to play the video. This is First Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 41, and it reads, Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. You see? This is exactly what he's been doing since the time before. This is how you know America is Babylon, because he wants everybody to be as one. This is how you see that these Edomites are straight up fighting against the Heavenly Father. Because they know about uh, uh, the Tower of Babel. Okay, how they wanted everybody to be one. They're trying to do that again. They're thinking that actually can ruin the works of the Heavenly Father. But guess what? It's not going to work, man. It's not going to work. So check the video out, and with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rukak Kodash, the belongs to the apostles, the others of a great millstone, and teacher who well, among many other things, and peace citations to the like that scatter abroad for winds. Shalom. means is if you have money in your bank account, and the new rule is you're not allowed to transact further than five kilometers from your home, your, your card won't work more than five kilometers from your home. If they don't want you buying pizza, you can't buy pizza with money in your in your bank account or with your card. It is complete control and it solves the taxation without representation problem because if they want more taxes, they just come take it out of your account. So when the World Economic Forum said it's 2030, you have no assets and you're happy, what I hear is it's 2030, we took all of your assets and you're mind controlled. Okay?